Hi, I'm Chris Bennett, Technical Service Manager for Masterbuilt. Today I'd like to discuss a few things with you that will help optimize the performance and operations of your glass door merchandiser. First and foremost, the number one thing that can be done is to clean the condenser coil for your case. This will increase the performance of the unit and also the efficiency. The front grill is attached by four screws, one in each corner. I'll demonstrate now how to take those out with just a regular Phillips head screwdriver. Once you've removed the front grill, your condenser coil will then be exposed. Power to the case should be off at this point in time. Typically, you can do the cleaning with just an ordinary brush by rubbing the dirt, lint, and debris down and away from the coal. You want to be sure to brush the debris out away from the coal as the intake is from this side backwards, so you want to pull the debris outward. Once you've cleaned your condenser coil, Reinstall the front grill and be sure to put the screws back in as well. The next thing to check for is the adjustment of your doors to make sure that they self-close properly. As you can see, this door does not self-close. That can be easily adjusted by the adjustment at the bottom of the door. To do this, all you need is a flathead screwdriver and turn the screw counterclockwise until the door closes. Once the door closes, make an additional turn and a half to ensure that the door will close when it is opened. Now the door operates properly. Another occurrence that happens from time to time through normal use is the door may begin to sag. That can also be taken care of by using a flathead screwdriver and adjusting the adjustment screw on the inside of the door. It should also be turned counterclockwise to make this correction. Another check to make is to ensure that your gasket is not damaged, torn by either stocking or purchasing from customers. To do this, just rub over it with your hand and make sure there's no tear marks. If you should see that you want to change the temperature to better suit your needs, that is easily done on this electronic control by pressing the I button to display the set point and then by pressing the up or down button to your desired temperature. Releasing the I button will then automatically set the temperature. Another thing that you'll very likely want to do is give your case a general cleaning. This can be done with just a general purpose glass cleaner for the glass doors as well as the painted panels. Last but not least, you'll need to do a visual inspection of the evaporator coil located inside your case. From time to time, stickers or paper may come stuck to the fan guard. At that point in time, just remove the stickers or paper to help increase the airflow. After that, using a flashlight, just inspect the evaporator to see if it is dirty. If it does, however, happen to be dirty, this cleaning should be performed by a service technician. For technical assistance, there's a 1-800 number listed on the top left of your cabinet. Also, it will tell the model number and the serial number of the case. Please have these numbers ready once you make the call. Thank you for viewing today's video. We hope that it was very informational. If additional assistance is needed, please dial 1-800-684-8988 and one of our technical service representatives will be glad to assist you.